Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous video about using Bluetooth with the TTGO LoRa 32 board, I got this question. He's asking, will the Helltech LoRa V3 work in a similar way? I think that's a great question. I believe that the Helltech LoRa V3 does have Bluetooth. It's an S3 ESP32, which should have Bluetooth. It should have BLE 5.0, actually. So, first off, I'm going to be using the version 2 board, and I'm going to use this simple example sketch. It's Bluetooth, yeah, serial to serial Bluetooth. It's a very simple sketch. I'm not going to be lighting up the display or anything. We're just going to be using the serial monitor. So it just creates an ESP32 test node in Bluetooth. You can connect to that with your phone, and then you can send and receive text serially. Okay, so we're uploading that program there. And we get the reset. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. First, I'm going to try using Dabble. Dabble is like a multi-purpose IoT uh, program, and it happens to have a terminal program. So here you see the Bluetooth device is available, and you see ESP32 test. I'm connecting to it. Connected. All right, let's try sending something. Hello. I don't understand why there's garbage characters there, and I get more garbage characters. Let's send hello again. Okay, so those characters seem to be coming every time I send something. I'm not sure why there's garbage characters <laughs> coming across. Yeah, using the Dabble serial terminal here. Okay, well let's see what else we can do. Alright, so first I'm in uh, Bluetooth settings, and I'm going to make sure I'm paired up with ESP32 test. So that's in the settings on my phone. Now I'm going to use a different application. This is Serial Bluetooth. This is probably a lot more straightforward than the Dabble Serial Terminal. Let's give it a try. There we go. We see we can connect to ESP32 test and we're connected. Alright, so now we can begin trying to send something here. Let's send hello again. Okay, good. We're not getting any garbage here. So it was the Dabble Terminal was sending the extra characters. That's interesting. I like this one too because it keeps the previous sent message and you can resend it. I also didn't know that you can send emojis, <laughs> but it brought a garbage character across with that. Let's clear this out. Yeah, get up there and clear that out. Yeah, I got to get back to the regular keyboard. So we clear that out and let's go back to the emoji keyboard here. Let's see. Oh, I love that emoji. You know, it just makes me smile. It's, it's, that's hilarious. Okay. All right. Good times. What I found out so far is that, you know, well, that was using V2. So the question was, does V3 work in that way? Yeah, you see here, I've been using the V2 board. Now it's time to test the V3 board. I've got hooked up. And I'm uploading in Arduino. Same sketch. Oh, get an error. Serial Bluetooth not available or not enabled. It's only available for the ESP32 chip. Yikes, that's right. And I even went back and checked my video about the ESP32 editions compared and went to that table that I featured in my video. And it says ESP32 S3 should have BLE 5.0. So obviously, I'm going to need a different library of a sort to use that BLE 5.0. I don't have the answer to that question this time. So V2 will work. Again, problems working with V3 because of just different chipset. The SP32 S3 and the uh, LoRa chip are different. The ESP32... Laura Board version 2 is still available on Amazon. I'll have the link for that down below. All right, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my Helltech Laura ESP32 videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.